good morning this is another beautiful session that uh, we are supposed to learn on the basics of farm account farming is a critical component in an economical activity so I believe as we go through this farming activity we'll be able to learn what to do when to do and where to do so in farm account <coughs> these are the areas that we are supposed to cover number one So, number one, we look at the introduction, the meaning of farm account, activities in farm account. Then we look at the revenue generation of farm account. Then we move to the types, types of account prepared in farm account. We have trading account, income statement, and the balance sheet. Then finally, we look at the preparation of farm account. In the preparation, we look at the methods. And the format then presentation of farm account introduction it is a type of account which is prepared to show all farming activities so farm account accounts for all farming activities now what do you mean by farming activities farming activities is the rearing of is the planting of crops and rearing of livestock. Now, there are different types of farming activities. The farming activities entails the following. One, we have crop farming. Two, we have livestock farming. Three, we have fish farming, which is part of livestock, nursery farming. So these are types of farming activities. There are several. We have sericulture, periculture. We have horticulture. We have... Uh, balcony farming, we have kitchen farming. So there are different types of farming activities. Expenses and revenue in farm activities. Now we'll be looking at each and every farming activity. So I'll take an example, crop farming. So in crop farming, we'll actually concentrate on maize farming. So in maize farming, which kind of farming are we talking about? So in maize farming, there is planting of maize. In the planting of maize, what are the expenses in planting of maize? Number one, we have, you need the seeds, you need the land, you need the machineries, you need actually the labor, you need research. People must do a research to ascertain whether the land is productive for farming activity. You need water for irrigation if the place is desert. So these are necessary expenses that you spend in the event of dealing with farming activities in maize farming. Now, what are the revenues that you get from maize farming? Number one, you get when you sell maize, you get revenue. Two, oil, the byproduct of maize. There is maize cob. When you sell them, you generate revenue. There is maize stocks. Maize stocks are sold for business purposes. There are people who buy it for feed, which is used in farming activity, livestock farming. Again, we have research. People will come to your farm to do research. So you pay them. That becomes your revenue. Again, we have another activity, which is field trips. Students will come visit your, your farming uh, activity which is maize farming in the event they'll pay you some revenues so these are the sources of revenue that you actually get from maize farming now when we talk about livestock farming we'll take one of the livestock farming one of them is fish farming so in fish farming it is a type of 
livestock farming, which involves the rearing of fish. Now, what are the expenses that you incur in the event of rearing fish? Number one, there is security. Fish require a lot of security. Two, you need water. You need the bone. You need the fishing nets. These are expenses that you incur. You need the labor, which is critical component in running the business in time of initiating the processes of fish farming and even in time of harvesting. So these are the critical components. You need research. You need to do research. You need medication. Fish go sick, so they need to be treated. You need to make water health. So these are the expenses that you incur in the event of dealing with fish farming. What are the sources of revenues? One of them is when you sell fingerlets, you get revenue. When you sell fish, you get revenue. When you sell the byproducts of fish, which is bonds, you get revenue. Again, it is another research area. When people come and visit your field for research purposes, they pay you some revenues. They pay you some monies. Again, you have field trips. Students will visit your farming, your fish farming. They'll come from different areas. Again, this becomes another source of revenue. So these are the critical components for revenue generation. So fish has different pipe products. We have oil. We have manure. So fish farming is critical in revenue generation. Now, types of account. There are three types of account. We have trading account. We have profit and loss account then we have balance sheet. So this will handle it at later stage, how to go about the accounts. So our interest is to look at the form methods of preparing farm account. There are two methods of preparing farm account. So farm final account can be prepared according to any of the following two methods, one single entry method and two double entry method. Now, what do you mean by single entry method? Now, in single entry method, this method does not require the maintenance of elaborate system of accounting to ascertain the profit or loss and financial position of the business. So there is no much elaboration of the system of account. You prepare only one single account, trading profit and loss account, and the next account is the balance sheet. So there are only two accounts when you are preparing single entry account. No specification of preparation of accounts. Now, when you come to the other type of account, which is the double entry method, accounting information contained in the accounting records may be prepared in the form of accounts for each type of product. For example, weed account, rice account. So in this type of double entry system, we are preparing specific account for specific farming activities. So in initially, you prepare three critical accounts. Number one, you prepare trading account for each and every type of business activity. And this will help you to get the cross profit in the business. Now, once you've done the preparation of trading account, then you prepare what's called general profit and loss account. In the general profit and loss account, you accommodate all cross profits from each and every farming activity. And then from there, whatever account, whatever final results you get from here is the net profit for the business. So at the end, you'll be able to establish the performance of the business by preparing the trading profit and loss account of the business. Now, what are the objectives of preparing farm account. I will only mention three very critical objectives. Number one, to know the performance of farming activities. So when you prepare farm account, you'll be able to know whether your business, whether your farming activity is making profit or not. So it is critical for every business to prepare trading profit and loss account, which will help us ascertain the profitability of their business. Number two, to know the financial position of the farming activity. You will be able to know 
three things about your financial position of your business. One, you'll be able to know your stability. Is your farm stable? Two, is your farm solvent? Three, is your farm liquid? So these are the critical components that you will be able to learn when you are dealing with farm account, financial stability of your farming activity. And then finally, you get accounting information necessary in policy and planning of your farming activity. This will help in management control of your farming activity. You know what to do at what point of time. Why is because you have sufficient information about your farming activity. Now, one thing I want us to have it clear is that people are coming out of their white jobs. They're getting into farming activity. So farming activity is becoming lucrative business. People are actually getting out of their white collar jobs so that they can get into farming activity. So farming activity is becoming critical component for economic activity in every country and especially Kenya. So it, this is very important for us. Let's do farming. Everybody is eating food. We are eating food every day so that farming activity is the only way we can make a difference in our revenues, in our incomes. So this is the only component. The most richest people in this country, people who are rich, are farmers. They generate good revenue from farming activity. Every day they earn incomes. So let's do farming. Let's go farming. Thank you.